Hey, what's up, y'all? Just left that work grind. <laughs> you already know. Now I'm at the grocery store. Got to get my food. Got to get my supplements. You know? Man, I'm so tired of these masks, by the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, got to stay safe out here. But anywho, today's topic I'm going to talk to y'all about is dream killers. Dream killers come in many forms. It could be your parents. It could be your coworkers. It could be your homies. But it's up to you to go after your dream and chase that shit because nobody else is going to do it for you. You know, I say that, how bad do you really want it? Because how bad do you really want it? Like, straight up. You could be on the couch not doing shit like me. I could have been on the couch not doing shit. I, you know, my parents, you know, they told me to get a job, but they didn't make me get a job. I didn't have to do nothing. I got my job because I went to the interview. You know, I had a, I had a dress sharp. I had to do everything, get my resume. Nobody else was going to do that for me, you know? But... You know, I'm blessed because I come from a long line of hard workers and come from a long line of hard workers and and that's why I got it. My mom's hustled, my pops hustled, you know, great grandparents hustled, grandparents strictly off the muscle, you know. And uh my my pops been self employed for years. And he's still self-employed. You know, he's, he's stacking up. He's, paint, he's been painting cars and, you know, he sold lowriders to Japan back in the 90s. You know, that's dope. That's something I want to do in my life. I want to be, I want to be self-employed. I want to be doing what I want to do, whether it's music, art, whatever, YouTube. You know, whatever life has in store for me, I want to be independent. You know, I'm blessed to have a job right now, but it's not what I want to do. I don't want to be a lifer. Let's see where I'm at. I'm trying to get some Ritz unsalted crackers. <laughs> but uh yeah, I wanna I wanna I wanna do that independently. Like, you know, dream killers, people talk shit about me all the time, like, you know, growing up, they're like, Oh you're whack, you know, you're a whack rapper, you know, but you know, I'm <laughs> of course I was whack back then because I started from the bottom. It's supposed to be supposed to be whack. Practice makes perfect. It's just not microwave quick fast, you know? All these rappers nowadays, you know, you blow up, you blow up, you blow up too fast, you're going to be fast food music, you know? Here today and gone tomorrow. Like, there's this, like, people talk shit about, oh, how long it takes you to get there. Fuck them. Fuck them. Like, I was seeing this one thing about Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs is one of my favorite rappers, by the way. He was going at it with uh, DJ Academics. And Academics was like, oh, Freddie, you garbage because it took you 10 years to to get fame. And I was like, what? Like, like people literally talk shit about how long you, it took you to grow. And I'm thinking, like, Freddie's, like, established now, like, more than anything. Like he, like, he makes dope music. And he has a great fan base. And he probably... Yeah, he probably makes a lot of money independently. Now he has like a lot of mainstream and media attention. Like that's fucking great. You know, a lot of a lot of these guys, they're here today and gone tomorrow. But when you put in that ten thousand hours, that work, that time, that's when you're going you gonna you gonna be there in the long game. Cause you can't be in the game half ass doing shit. The coach gonna tell your ass, life gonna tell your ass, get back on the motherfucking bench, you bench warmer. <laughs> and that's just how it is. But like me, I was I'm glad I was whack when I first started, but I will out rap your favorite rapper in a heartbeat nowadays. Motherfuckers can't see me. Bars. Merrill gets it. Bitch don't get it twisted. <laughs> oh shit. Don't get me started. But so yeah. But when you're maintaining you're on that grind, everything's gonna fall into place, y'all. Everything. Everything. You know, like I tell people, people ask me, hey, Romero, how'd you lose weight? You know, I tell them, I tell them, don't eat fast food, drink a lot of water, stay on your grind, you know, take supplements, vitamins. It goes in out one ear, not the other. Because why? Motherfuckers don't want to listen. In reality, they don't. Why explain the game if they ain't listening? You know, 
just, I just keep it moving. People are going to do what, what they want to do, and I'm going to keep doing my thing. But um, hopefully I can help spark some ideas, and I can help motivate some folks because that would be great, and that's what I'm here for because I never really had that growing up. You know, my parents were, you know, supportive, semi-supportive of things I've done. You know, they always were, you know. But as far as other people, other people in this world, man, they, they ain't going to support your dream as much as you think. I'm getting this coconut silk milk, by the way. This shit's fire. It's good, dairy-free. But... Put that in your cereal. Good. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't want to keep keep rambling. I just want to tell y'all to keep keep on your grind. Always gonna do it as much as you want to get it. That's why I so that's why I work so hard now. That's why I work so hard because <clears throat> I don't want my future kids to be crying because I can't afford groceries or you know. Or can't afford that toy or something like that, you know. I was blessed. My my parents blessed me, you know. Every Christmas they got what they could. Like, like my mom got like uh, notebooks, and that was like the biggest thing in the world for me. Cause like, you know, who knew years later I'll be writing raps in the notebooks? You know, that's all she could afford. You know, but other kids were getting like Game Boys and shit. You know, I got Game Boys. It wasn't until I was older, but. Yeah, I'm blessed for those those times. Strictly off the muscle. Like, I don't want my daughter, like, my future daughter doing OnlyFans. Like, what the fuck? Like, hell no. Nah. That'd be a sad day, cold day. I feel like I lost. I feel like I'm like a loser straight up. And I don't want that to happen. It will never happen. Let me see. Those are rich crackers. Rich crackers. That's what I'm here for. But, you know, maintain. I, it's easy to say that. Like, I could say I could say whatever you want me, me to say. I could give you motivational shit, but it's up to you. It's up to you to do that. Man, I'm tired of this mask. It's up to you to chase your dream. But I ain't going to make this too long because I feel like I'm rambling now. <laughs> You know, I hope this inspired y'all. One love. Dream killers. Don't let them dictate your life. Dream killers. Come out and play. <laughs> I got them. Got the crackers.